Hello everyone, so I have like no motivation to edit this next video, so I'm doing a tier list. <laughs> I have an addiction to tier lists, and I think I just need to do one on this channel before I implode, so that's what we're doing today. The topic I have chosen is bands, which is a completely fine and non-controversial topic that will make absolutely nobody angry. Here's the tier list. Obviously, there's... <laughs> oh man, there's a lot of these. So I don't know all of these bands. Uh, so I'm, I'm pretty much just gonna ignore any of them that I only know like one song by, because I've heard of like all of these. I, my, my thing is, is I have to know at least two songs by the band in order to rank them. So yeah, that's what we're doing today. I guess to start, I'll just get all the ones that I don't know out of the way, <laughs> so that way this is just gonna go a lot quicker. And we're done. So, oh. <laughs> okay, that's, that's a lot worse than I thought. Okay, so these are all bands that I've heard of a ton of these. I mean, obviously, who hasn't heard of, like, Pink Floyd, Slayer, and Mur Motor Motorhead? I just don't think I know enough about these bands to properly, like, rate them and talk about them. So, yeah. And also, this is a way more manageable list. So starting off, we got 10CC. So I don't know a lot about 10CC. All right, I know their big song that was in Guardians of the Galaxy, and I also know one of their deep tracks. So I don't know a lot about them, so I'm gonna put them in C. This is gonna be the baseline band, the one that like, you know, are they better than 10CC, or are they worse than 10CC? So it's not a huge bar. Okay, so now like the first actual one, One Direction. And they're going straight. I mean, come on. What, what did you expect? No One Direction slander will be tolerated. Okay, but actually they're probably just gonna get like C tier because, you know, they're One Direction, you know, they're like a huge meme, but I just honestly kind of think that they're, they're okay. You know, I, I don't have any strong feelings about One Direction. Okay, ACDC. We're getting into the good stuff, alright? Because I think that ACDC is really overrated. <laughs> like, they've done a lot, you know, for music. You know, there's a ton of people who are really inspired by them, but like, musically, I just can't get behind them. They wrote like, one song over and over again. I don't know. It's just too simple for my tastes. That's not bad, but I think that just, in my opinion, I don't understand ACDC, so they're getting D, the, just, the, just a little bit below average. I would, I know that this looks like I would rather listen to One Direction over ACDC, and I know that that sounds horrible, but it's also probably true. Um, next up, we got Aerosmith, and Aerosmith gets an A for Aerosmith. Steven Tyler is like actually a really incredible vocalist and he's the dad of the elf in Lord of the Rings. But no, they're an example of ACDC done right where like the riff that they chose to kind of copy and paste over and over again is a really good riff. That's a joke. All right, they actually have a kind of diverse catalog. Anyway, moving on, AJR. Everyone loves to hate AJR. Everybody loves to hate him. I think that some of the hate is actually freaking hilarious. <laughs> but I honestly think that the hate is a bit undeserved, so I'm giving him a B. I, I think that in the way that they sound, they're just really unique. Like, I can't think of many other people who sound like them. Uh, just all that. I, I honestly think they're one of the most unique, like, pop bands out right now, and I really respect them for that. Good on you, AJR. You do not deserve the hate. Alright, Alice Cooper. I'ma uh, put Alice Cooper in C. 
Really cool stage presence. Not much else. <laughs> I don't ha again, I just have no strong feelings on Alice Cooper, either positive or negative. So like, I don't know. Alice in Chains. All right, Alice in Chains is also getting to B tier because I can get down to some Alice in Chains. There's a huge debate on if they're like a grunge band or a metal band. I personally think they're more grunge just because they sound a little bit more grunge than metal because I think the definition of metal has just completely changed. But, I mean, really, I have more good feelings towards Alice in Chains than bad, so they get B. Again, this is a band that I don't know much about, but enough to where I think I can actually talk about them. <laughs> Anthrax. Again, no strong feelings. I really still don't know <laughs> a lot about this band. But, again, just no strong feelings on them. Uh, I actually really like that Bring the Noise song. I think that's their most popular, so I'm sorry. But I mean, like, just for some... Th They're thrash metal, right? They're thrash. There's like 20 million metal subgenres. I'm pretty sure they're thrash. Anyway, for a thrash metal band, I do kind of like their stuff. And I'm not a huge fan of thrash metal, so... Alright, next up, Arctic Monkeys. <sighs> yeah. Okay, their most recent album was actually really cool. It was actually really cool. It was really interesting, but it has the exact same problem that like every single one of their albums has, and it's that like every single song is the exact freaking same. There is no difference in any of them. The drummer is incredible. I I'm just saying that. I, I don't know his name, but he's incredible. I'm really interested to see where their next album goes, but like, I just think it's gonna be the same song over and over again, you know? I, I don't know, I just realized my camera is really big and you can't see Aerosmith. Okay, there you go, there you go. Alright, next, Bare Naked Ladies. Bare Naked Ladies is a band that I'm gonna give a B. <laughs> They're a band that is strangely really present in my childhood because they made one of the songs for the most overhated animated movie of all time, Chicken Little. And I didn't know that until like a couple months ago. Um, I would rather listen to them than like Alice Cooper or Anthrax, but I don't have the same amount of respect to put them on the same tier as Aerosmith. The Beach Boys, first S. I mean, I, 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 it, it's the freaking Beach Boys, I mean. <laughs> Masters of Harmony. I mean, but honestly though, they're just an incredible band. Um, and I think that they are really one of the greatest of all time. And the Beatles, I mean, they're the freaking Beatles. They're like, if you aren't influenced by the Beatles, then you probably have never listened to a song before in your life. They are widely regarded as one of the most overrated of all time. But those same people have never listened to the Beatles in their life, so... I don't know, man. I don't know. Next to Led Zeppelin and Nirvana, they are, like, one of the most influential bands of all time. And I don't think that any of the musicians are, like, particularly great at their instruments. Like, Paul McCartney, best Beatle. Paul McCartney, best Beatle. Paul McCartney slander will not be tolerated, and George Harrison slander is welcome. Okay, next up we got Blink-182. Um, I think D. I think Travis Barker's a good drummer, but... <laughs> I mean, come on, the, the dude's voice just cracks me up. I mean, <laughs> man's got his own accent. But, uh, honestly, I, I just kind of think that I, I have more negative feelings towards the Blink-182 than positive. I don't know. It, it could change if I listen to their stuff more, but as of right now, I don't know. Okay, one that I can finally do. Bob Dylan. And this is gonna make a lot of people angry, but I really freaking hate Bob Dylan. If the Arctic Monkeys wrote the same song over and over again, then that, that then that's okay, because at least they're tolerable to listen to. I mean, like, sh sure, the dude might be a good songwriter, but like, I, I just cannot stand the vibe of his songs. I, I just can't, and his voice, it just kind of freaking sucks. I'm sorry. Bon Jovi. It's is my life. John Bovey. I'm gonna give him an A. I'm, I'll give him an A. 
Okay, this might be controversial, but they're kind of like a cousin to Aerosmith in a way, which is why I put them right next to them. They're very similar in like musical style and all that. And even though the Aerosmith is a little more blues oriented and like pure rock than Bon Jovi is, I still think that they've both written some amazing hits. And honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if I confused some of their songs for other ones. So, yeah. Next up is Boston. Um, Boston gets S because they are just kind of the Beach Boys on steroids. If, if the Beach Boys are masters of harmony, then Boston is like the gods of harmony because they're just amazing. <laughs> I mean, like, if, if you really break down like, let's do their big hit, More Than a Feeling. If you break down that song, the amount of, like, layers and effort put into it is just, is just mind-blowing. Cannibal Corpse. Cannibal Corpse is a band that I don't know much music by, but I know a lot about their sound. Um... And if they're taking themselves seriously, then that's freaking hilarious. <laughs> but if they're not taking themselves seriously, then that's even better. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna move them into here because I, I, I can't talk about them, but come on, guys. They're not real. This is about shooting blood from your car. All right, the cars. Uh, cars get to see. They just kind of rewrote Hit Me With Your Best Shot by Pat Benatar. I don't know, man. Maybe that's just what they needed. All right, next uh, is Credence Clearwater Revival, also known as the Vietnam Meme Band. And I'm gonna give them a B. I, I, I like some of their stuff. I, I think that it's like very, a little too acoustic centric for my taste, but still, I really do like it. The Red Hot Chili Peppers, D tier. Okay. I am a bass player, and Flea is an amazing bass player, and the whole band is full of amazing musicians. So, why do they make the music that they make? Like, how, how can they have so many phenomenal musicians and just make some average music? Like, seriously, I, I, I do not understand it. They're just kind of a jam band. I'm sorry. Coldplay. Coldplay gets a B because they are kind of just one of the many sounds of my childhood. I kind of grew up listening to a lot of their stuff. And by a lot of their stuff, I mean Speed of Sound and Viva La Vida. But I really like their stuff. And really, I have a lot of positive feelings towards Coldplay. And... They're one that I would definitely pick up and listen through all their stuff. So, Coldplay. Cream. Eric Clapton's amazing, but I don't like their sound. It's, again, it's just one of those bands that, like, have good musicians, but just choose to write the same song over and over and over again. And, and it's, it's, it's kind of like a, a good example of how musicianship and songwriting are two completely separate things because <laughs> like you could be the Beatles who are like none of them are like amazing musicians but they're all like phenomenal songwriters but then you've got a band like Cream where I'm pretty sure that like everyone is a phenomenal musician but they don't really have amazing songs in my opinion so so I think E's a little bit low but I'm gonna stick with it for now and just move on Creed Creed. Um, I think I'm gonna give Creed a D because, like, a, a few of the members of Creed, actually, like, all of them except for Scott Stepp, all of them went on to form one of my favorite metal bands, Alter Bridge. Um, so, like, Mark Tremonti is the guitar god in my eyes. I don't think that man has ever written a bad riff, and that includes in Creed. But I think that just... Overall, Scott Stapp is is the biggest detractor when it comes to Creed. The Cure, otherwise known as maybe the most British band in history. 
Yeah, actually, no, the Arctic Monkeys are the most British band in history, but I'm gonna give The Cure a C, because, like, they're kind of, like, proto-indie, in terms of, like, what modern-day indie music is, they're kind of, like, the earliest form of that sound that I, like, I can sort of trace it back to, um, or at least one of the earliest forms of indie, and... I, I do like some indie music, but, like, not as much as Bare Naked Ladies. <laughs> okay, Def Leppard. I'm gonna give him a B, alright? I, I, I truly believe that Photograph is one of the best 80s metal songs, 80s hair metal songs. Let me just say that. And I, I, I will take that to my grave. Honestly, that whole album is really stinking good, judging off of the two songs I know of it, but we'll, we'll ignore that, we'll ignore that. The Doobs. The Doobie Brothers. A tier. Alright. I think that the Michael McDonald Doobie Brothers might be my favorite, even though China Grove is slap city. But no, I, I really, really like their stuff. Um... So, Doobie Brothers, you get an A tier. You get an A tier. Okay, The Doors. I kind of, like, hate The Doors with the burning passion. <laughs> Again, it's one of those bands that just copy and pasted the same song over and over and over and over again. Except The Doors picked the most boring song humanity could ever write and just copied it over and over and over and over again. I have tried to listen to The Doors. I couldn't even make it through the first song on one of their albums. I, I, I seriously just couldn't. Dream Theater. Dang. I mean, a singer makes or breaks a band, and James Labrie in like the 90s is amazing, but James Labrie now isn't really that amazing. But I think that since literally everybody else in that band is just so phenomenal what they do, and they write some killer songs, I'm gonna have to give Dream Theater S tier. I just... God, they're amazing. Duran Duran. I don't know, like a D? Is that a joke on the fact that they have two Ds in their name? Yes. So Duran Duran is like more 80s pop than rock. I, I think that Rio, off of I think that album's also called Rio. Anyway, their song Rio has, like, top 15 bass line of all time on my list. Like, it is just amazing. But other than that, they're just kind of normal 80s music. So, I don't know. They're not really that high on the list. The Eagles. S tier. They have to be. I, I'm usually not a fan of, like, pure acoustic-centric music, but for the Eagles, it's a huge exception. Electric Light Orchestra. I'm gonna give them an A. Still really great at those harmonies. I know that that's, like, the only thing I've talked about for, like, six of the bands on this list. God, British people, man. British people either make the best music ever or the worst music ever. There is no in-between. Elton John. I'm gonna give Elton John a B. I don't think he's as good as Billy Joel. B Billy Joel is on a completely different bet level of both piano skill and songwriting. Even though I think that Elton John's longevity is amazing, how he has managed to stay more relevant than Billy Joel for a much longer period of time. I'm not a huge fan of some of the newer Elton John that I've heard, because it's just modern day pop music without anything that Elton John would add to it. It, it, that's kind of a detractor, but I do really like his classic stuff. I absolutely love it. Fallout Boy. Like a C, I think. Fallout Boy is one of the two big bands that have what I like to call helicopter vibrato. Yeah, I really don't think that Fallout Boy is like that terrible in terms of the actual songs that they write, but I mean, in terms of like a pop punk slash emo band, I think that they they make the cut. All right, fits in the tantrums. This is a random one. I don't know why I know more about them than Pink Floyd, but I'm gonna give them an E because yeah, they kind of suck. <laughs> uh, I think that's all I have to say about it. I, I'm not a huge fan of them. They're not as bad as The Doors or Bob Dylan, 
but oh, I'm not a huge, not a huge fan of them. Fleetwood Mac. C, I think maybe I don't know. Fleetwood Mac is one of those bands that just they're really folksy. They're really folksy. Too like like too folksy for for my taste. I don't really dislike them. I have a couple of their songs on my playlist, but I just don't they don't they don't do it for me. That's going to piss a lot of people off. Every single person with a headband, long hair and a vest with tassels on it is going to break into my house at night and stab me to death. But I'm standing by it. All right. Foo Fighters. The Foo Fighters. Foo Fighters! Okay, if Dream Theater's an S, Foo Fighters gotta be an S, because I think that the Foo Fighters are the most consistent band in history. None of their albums really suck, but none of them really blow me away. And even though they are super consistent, it's kind of annoyingly consistent, because like, sometimes I'm just like, come on, do something unique. You have the potential to. You are inspired by Rush. All right, Foreigner. I'm probably going to give him a B on, on par with Elton John, I think. Because I have more good feelings towards them than negative feelings. But they're not strong positive feelings. <laughs> they're, they're good. Alright, they, they are good. Genesis. S. This, that is, other than the Beatles, this is the easiest S I think I've given. They're a band that kind of, like straddles the line between progressive and another genre, whichever one they choose. I'm definitely a Peter Gabriel Genesis guy, personally, even though I do really like the Phil Collins stuff. Even though I think that Genesis has some really good stuff in the 70s, I think that they're a prime example of, like, how a progressive rock band sort of lost all the stuff that made them good. Because they really went mainstream with it. And, like, they didn't go Phil Collins mainstream where I think that they're actually still really unique. It was pure just cheese from the 80s. I think that they should have written more stuff like Duke. I think that in the 80s that should have been the path they went down. And The Lamb Lies Down on Broadway is a complete and utter masterpiece in every single way. I think that it is easily their best album. I mean... Yeah, Genesis is freaking phenomenal. The Grateful Dead. If Fleetwood Mac made anyone with a tasseled vest and a headband in their hair want to break into my house and murder me, this is going to make them want to burn my house down because I freaking hate The Grateful Dead. <laughs> I really, really just do not like them. Whatsoever. I, I think that they're just... Uh, I don't want to bring fan base into it because I don't think that that should affect how you feel about anything. But they really do have a terrible fan base. <laughs> Super devoted one, right? Super devoted and respect for the devotion. But I mean, do you guys listen to any other band? Okay, but honestly though, just all that aside, all jokes, um, I, I really just am not a fan of their music. I just kind of find it really, really boring. It's music made for the feel and not for the music. So it kind of makes me not like it that much. Green Day. AKA Phineas, but pitched down. I think they're gonna go on C tier, on par with Fallout Boy. They're not a band that I have a lot of strong feelings about. I mean, like, I wouldn't mind listening to their stuff if it came on, but I wouldn't exactly choose to listen to them all the time, you know? So, like, I don't know. I've been going for 45 minutes? Are you serious? Greta Van Fleet, also known as Led Zeppelin again. Okay, I really don't want to let the fact that they are one of the many Led Zeppelin ripoff bands to detract from the fact that they make some really good stuff. Like, out of all of the Led Zeppelin ripoff bands, I think they're easily at the top. I, I honestly really, really do like their stuff. I like some of their songs more than I do Led Zeppelin songs. And that's sacrilege, and I'm proud of it. So yeah, Greta Van Fleet, A tier. Alright, Guns N' Roses. Oh man, D? D or E? I'm gonna go E, I'd rather listen to ACDC if I'm being honest. Yeah, um, Guns N' Roses is one of those bands that I just don't get. I, I understand why people like them, and like Slash is a great guitarist, and Welcome to the Jungle is a freaking banger, but I just 
do not like Guns N' Roses. I, I think that they're fine. Really, objectively, but subjectively, which is what this list is. Uh-uh. Uh-uh for Guns N' Roses. They get an uh-uh. Alright, Heart. Heart is a band that deserves a lot more respect, and I'm gonna give them an A tier. I think that the singer of Heart is is one of the unsung heroes in just rock vocalists in general. I think that she is just absolutely phenomenal, and I think the same goes for the primary guitarist of this band, her sister. Yeah, I mean, I think that Hart is one of the unsung heroes in the rock world and really did not deserve to be known for pretty much just Barracuda. <laughs> All right, moving on. Hall & Oates, AKA a trucker for Quaker. Get it? They'd be hauling oats. Okay, but actually, Hall & Oates is a band that, really the most monumental thing I have to say about them is that if you look at this album cover, the guy with the mustache should totally be the singer, but he isn't, it's the other guy. That just messes with my brain. That is the most monumental thing I have to say about this band, but I, I really do like him, I, I like him. Jimi Hendrix, I'm a given A. They've got kind of a Nirvana thing going on, where they're incredibly influential and they have like, an almost non-existent discography. Like they've got, like Jimi Hendrix has like three albums, I think. But I, I, he's one of the best guitarists of all time. He's also one of the Vietnam meme bands. But I seriously really like Jimi Hendrix, and I think he's one of the best. I think he might be the best guitarist ever. Huey Lewis in the news. I know that Huey Lewis is like really memed on because of American Psycho, but they're actually really stinking good. I think that from the couple videos that I've seen, and from mostly hearsay, um, I think that they're one of the bands that just sounds exactly like the recording live, which is incredibly impressive. In terms of musicianship and songwriting, they just absolutely kill it. I, I think that they're just amazing. So Huey Lewis, A tier. All right. Imagine Dragons. I'm gonna give them a B. They are more hated than AJR, I would say. And I think that they're even less deserving of the hate than AJR. If you look at Imagine Dragons solely based on their hits, then yeah, they suck. But if you look past their big hits and like actually look at their entire discography, they're actually not that bad. Smoke and Mirrors is actually like, 8 out of 10 album, in my opinion. But yeah, I seriously think that Imagine Dragons and AJR are two of the most overhated bands in recent history. And that's what I'm gonna go with. Iron Maiden! That's me! That's me, guys! I am every member of Iron Maiden! But yeah, um, Iron Maiden! They are my namesake and one of the best metal bands of all time, and I just kinda have to give them S. Iron Maiden is my childhood. They, they, they is the sound of my childhood, I think. They were my favorite band until, God, I think until like sophomore year of high school when like Muse took over and then now it's my favorite band currently, which is Rush. I, I seriously think that Iron Maiden is at the very least a top 10 band for me. Journey, oh geez, another S, I mean, I, I don't think they can go in any other tier other than S. They have some um, huge hits. I mean, just some impressively huge hits. I mean, Don't Stop Believin', While Overplayed, is one of the greatest songs ever written. And I think that if you deny that, you're just an idiot. But I, I really do think that Journey is just a phenomenal band. Frontiers is a phenomenal album. And I think that they deserve S tier. Easy. Judas Priest. Uh, Judas Priest is kind of a one album band in terms of my knowledge on them. Um, and that album is Screaming for Vengeance. It is a phenomenal album. Also probably an 8 out of 10. Um, but I'm gonna give them a B. I think that they're a good metal band, but I wouldn't necessarily put them really high on any list, like even an objective list. Kansas. God, that is another easy S. I mean, seriously. Just like Genesis, they are just prog rock legends that I think, God, they're just amazing. I know that they're the Carry On Wayward Son band, all right? Or the Dust in the Wind band, or that one song from the Suicide Squad band. But I seriously think that Kansas is one of the best progressive rock bands of all time. And I think that they'd be top three. Okay, Kiss is a band that I think I'm gonna put in C. 
I don't have any strong feelings about him, positive or negative, even though I have seen them live. But I, I think that just Paul Stanley, he's just kind of an inferior version of David Lee Roth from Van Halen. I think that he does a lot of the similar stuff that he that uh, David Lee Roth does, but it's just not as charming. Okay, so this is taking a lot longer to edit than I want, so I'm just gonna do a quick lightning round. Korn are the founders of new metal, and out of respect, I'm gonna give them a beat. Led Zeppelin. Led Zeppelin. It's Led. It's Led Zeppelin. I mean, where else would they go? Led Zeppelin has got the crunch. I don't think I need to explain myself any further than that. Limp Biscuit. I'm gonna give him a C. It's just so funny to me. Lincoln Park. I am going to give Lincoln Park an A. Maroon Five. I don't know, like a D. My Chemical Romance. My Chemical Romance is the best band ever, and I don't think it's even a competition. Okay, but actually though, I don't know, My Chemical Romance is kind of mid. All right, Megadeth and Metallica. They are going on the same tier. I'm going to give them both a B out of respect. All right, Motley Crue. They're going Guns N' Roses tier. Nickelback. Nickelback also gets an E. All right, Nirvana. Objectively, they would get S tier. Musically, I would probably give them a C, so I'm gonna do middle round and give them a B. Panic at the Disco, they're just kinda gonna go on the C tier with all the other, like, pop punk slash emo bands. Paramore, and I'm gonna give them an A. Pearl Jam, I'm gonna give them a B. A B. The Police, I'm gonna give them an A. Queen, um, S tier, do you even need to ask? Rammstein, I'm probably gonna give them a C. Ladies and gentlemen, it's the big one. The band. Rush is my favorite band of all time. I mean, there is just no way around it. Neil Peart. Probably the best drummer of all time. Geddy Lee. One of the best bassists of all time. At least top 10. Alex Lifeson. Candidate for the most underrated guitarist of all time. I think that they only have like one or two quote unquote bad albums and everything else is at least good. They are probably the biggest influence on my own, like, sucky songwriting and bass playing uh, out of any band ever. And I really don't want to make this, like, a huge Rush video because objectively, they'd probably go, like, A or B, but this is subjective, and they get S. So to avoid making this whole video about Rush, let's move on to a band that I'm not a huge fan of, Black Sabbath, and they get a D. They don't get lower because they invented metal. And they also have Ronnie James Dio. Okay, I'm gonna move them up to a C. Alright, I'm gonna move them up to a C. Black Sabbath and Nirvana are kinda in the same camp for me, as they invented a genre, but I think that everyone else in said genre did it better. Alright, the Scorpions. Give them a C. On, on par. They're one of those bands that, like, I only kind of know two songs by them. Um, but really, Scorpions are a band that I don't really have a lot of strong feelings about. You know, they'd be more more on the positive side than the negative side, but... I don't know. Just... They're kind of meh. I don't know. Leonard Skinner. They got the best guitar solo of all time with Freebird. Yes, I know that that's the generic white dad answer to that question. But other than that, I don't know. I... They're just kind of a C. I don't know if we're jumping ahead, but I think ZZ Top is going to get the same thing. Just kind of a C. I would confuse songs by both of these bands. I just kind of would. But yeah, just the epitome of Southern Rock. But I'm not a giant fan of them. Slipknot. Slipknot is the newest addition to my music catalog. I just finished listening to all their stuff. Uh, and I think I'm going to give them an A. I don't think that they're, like, amazing, but... I really do like a lot of their stuff. I think that while their music is relatively simple, it's really effective. <laughs> Before listening to their stuff, Slipknot would probably be in like D or E, but I mean, they just kind of rock and there's just no way around it. Smash Mouth. <laughs> I'm gonna put them in D purely because it's the Shrek green tier. All right, Rolling Stones. I'm gonna take back what I said about The Doors being the most overrated band of all time because I think it's probably gonna be The Rolling Stones. I really don't like them. I mean, I just, I just don't. I, I think that the music that they write isn't really good. I don't know, out of like the big bands from the 60s, they'd probably be at the bottom of the list for me. I mean, even below The Doors, which is like 
Ugh. Sticks. A tier. One of the more underrated bands, I think. I think that they deserve a lot more attention in the mainstream world. Because, like, everyone kind of only knows them for, you know, Renegade and, like, too much time on my hands, you know? I really do think that in terms of their musicianship and songwriting, I think that they just deserve a lot more love than they usually get. The Sweet! The Ballroom Blitz Band. Um, I'm gonna give them a B, but it's a hesitant B. I think that they're also one of the more underrated bands, because I do think that they have some great songs, but they're probably on the lowest end of the B tier, in, in my opinion, I think. Okay, but System of a Down, they're on, they're on corn level, you know? They're good, but I would rather listen to Linkin Park and Slipknot over System of a Down if we're going for new metal. Tenacious D. They're goofy and they know it. I think I'm gonna give them an A just because I think that they cracked me up. I actually grew up listening to Wonder Boy a lot, which is one of their songs off of I don't know which album. I actually think I would rather listen to Tenacious D over Metallica and Nirvana, and I am not sorry about it. Tool! I think that they should figure out a tool to make interesting songs, to get a B tier. Yeah, I think that they're kind of boring in a lot of ways. Like, space in music is more important than the actual notes that you play, but Tool's got too much space, you know? Also, they have no songs about Home Depot or, or Lowe's. So like, all right, 21 Pilots. I'm pretty sure there's only two people in that band. They get F tier. There are not 21 people in that band. You lied to me. Toto. Toto is the most underrated band of all time. The single most underrated band of all time. Steve Lukather, phenomenal guitarist. Jeff, the Picaros, amazing musicians. I seriously think that Toto is an unsung hero in music in general. I, I think that they deserved so much more love in the mainstream than they got. Twisted Sister, C. Twisted Sister. Muse, S tier. They are my favorite band for like a good two or three years, I think, before Rush took over. I know everyone kind of knows them as the Radiohead clone, but I don't really listen to Radiohead, so I don't know. But in all seriousness, I, I, I honestly think that Muse is sort of carrying the torch for Queen more than they are kind of ripping off Radiohead, at least the like middle bit of their albums. Um, yeah, I think that Really, they are all amazing musicians and songwriters. They're super creative, and I think that they are an easy pick for my second favorite band of all time. Han Valen. Vans Halen. They get S tier because it's Van Halen, and if Van Halen isn't in S tier, then I don't think that I could call myself a musician ever again. Weezer. Okay, realistically, Weezer's like probably a B tier band, I, I think. I don't think that they're bad. But I also don't think they're really that great. Um, yeah. Weez, Royal Blood. Royal Blood is one of the newer bands that I've been into, and it's actually, I think, super impressive that it is just a singer slash bassist and a drummer. Uh, I'm really impressed with Royal Blood, and I'm gonna give them an A. All right, Cheap Trick, like a C, I think. I, again, it's just a band that I don't really have any strong feelings on. It's actually one of the- I, I've actually seen them live when I was like 10. I was living out in Vegas, and uh, they were playing for like a marathon that my uncle was running. And I have seen them play. <laughs> so it's, it's one, of the, one of the weirder ones that I've seen live on this list, but uh, cheap trick, more like seep trick. Mastodon. Um, I don't listen to much of them. I just wanted to mention that, like, they're from Alabama, and I am living in Alabama right now. And, like, that's all I wanted to mention, so I can't talk about Mastodon. They've got a cool- they got a couple cool riffs, though. They do have a couple cool riffs. Right, Primus. F tier. Primus sucks. Okay, but really, though, they're getting an A, because Les Claypool is one of the best bassists. Just period. Like, it's so unique and weird, and I think that they have the best music videos of all time. And finally, yes, I'm kind of straddling between A and S there, because they're like progressive rock legends, 
and they've got amazing musicians. I think I'm gonna give them an S. Yes, more like S. Okay, but like in all honesty, Yes is one of the best bands ever and I think that they're just absolutely phenomenal. And I'm gonna say something controversial, I'm gonna say it. Trevor Rabin, Yes Supremacy. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I had to say it, I had to say it. And that is the tier list. I hope that you guys enjoyed. I do want to make more music related content on my channel going forward. There's gonna be a big music one at the beginning of next year, I think. Um, but I am working on actual good videos, so you'll be getting some of them soon. Okay, but um, yeah, that's it. Uh, if I didn't put your band in the place where you wanted it to, go cry about it.